in that one. Nothing in there. What is that humming? Oh, I thought I might have something I can pick it. Oh, okay. What's that? S I'm just trying to. If I press that, it kind of. If I press on the button, I can hold it. Then I press it right. It does that. Okay, I have to start moving it. Fair enough. What was that? Let's just close that door. I don't like that. Uh, ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay. Seventeenth of May, eighteen thirty-nine. My hands tremble as I write. I feel a need to document my tribulation, for I fear that my memory will fail me if I linger. Today, I took some men and ventured into the dark, ancient passage we uncovered. Our torches burned faintly in the murky air as we slowly made our way underground. The men were superstitious and fearful. They argued loudly, and I felt their strange language getting to me. I mustered my strength and yelled at them to continue down the slopes and broken steps. The crudely carved passage confused me. It looked much older than the 4th century structure we had expected. The twisting path emerged into a great antechamber. The walls were lined with statues unlike any I'd ever seen. Despite their unearthly quality, I felt a strange familiarity toward them, which haunts me still. At the far end of the chamber, a great slab of stone sealed off whatever lay ahead. I gave the order to raise it, and as I pushed through the narrow space, the heavy stone suddenly dropped, sealing me inside. I was trapped. Oh dear. Well, this isn't good, is it? Nothing in there. Still that weird sound of the fluttering or something. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Nothing in there. Okay. Let's go back in here in this way. Oh, I can use it too. Let's let's light that. So I can always run back here to the light. Oops. Oh, long, dark, long, scary hallway. This is going to be fun, isn't it? With all that strange noise still going on. Oh, I can see outside. It looks horrible outside. I think I prefer to be in here, actually. Uh, is that door closed or not? I can't tell. That, that made me jump. That was horrible. Can I play the piano? Hold down mouth and move the mouse in the direction you want to move the lever. Yeah, what lever? What lever? I don't provide much light further than down here. Local history. That's where I've just been, isn't it? Nope, no it isn't. <coughs> okay, screen went funny again. What's that noise? Why is... There's no... Oh crap, there's no one left in my lamp. I thought it was some... My head is pounding and hands are shaking, oh dear. Okay, that was a bit scary. I thought things were going wrong, but I've used all my oil up. Nice. Nice. Oh, let me pick that up, damn it. 
This just looks like a storage place for me. There's nothing else interesting in here. Can I open this? Nope. Okay. Let's get out of here then. Let's go to the stadium. Oh, wait. Wait, wait. I've been in here. Okay. Uh, let's check here. Nope. Open the... There we go. Nothing in there. Nothing in there. Okay, let's just put it that way. It won't... It won't open. It's locked. Okay. Oh, I've got this... Uh, got in here to look at, okay. That was a horrible sound. <gasps> oh my god, that made me jump. I thought that was something then. Like a silhouette or something. Oh my god, is that something over there? No, okay, good. I want to light something. So I don't have to use the oil in my lamp. Okay, okay. Okay, th things are lit a bit now. Makes me feel a bit better. I don't even know what that says. I can't understand that. Run away! Run away! Run away! Oh no, you're joking me, aren't you? Okay, let's put some more oil in my lamp. Oh, oh. Okay. Well, I don't know what it said because I couldn't read it, but it seems to have lots of scrolls in. Oh! Much of the castle is old and hasn't been tended to for centuries. When the shadow arrives, it won't take long until things start falling apart. We're just buying time anyway. Let's do what we can. There isn't much to be done about the wars. We should reinforce weak structures. The ground will tremble, and there's a risk everything will cave in on us, especially downstairs. Here, here, and there. Let's get the servants working on it. Okay. So, the reason why the place falls falling apart is because of something called the Shadow. Okay, I can get on board with that. Let me just put... Have I got enough stuff here? Yeah, I've got... Almost a full lantern, okay. Oh, that looks a bit weird. Oh, glad I came down here. Okay. Alright, I see if I'm holding something and I and Okay, I don't get this slamming the door sure thing. Kingdom of Prussia, okay. Uh, this must be the last diary. Oh. What's going on? I'm falling on the floor and seem to be passing out. 17th of May, 1839. After pounding the unforgiving stone wall for what seemed like an eternity, I realized it was hopeless. I was trapped. I fell to the ground, gasping for air, trying to focus. That's when I saw a faint blue shimmer. My weakened body was heavy to carry, but I managed to push myself toward the enchanting light. Okay, so this is a little cut. It was waiting for me. Enclosed in dark nothingness, I felt myself drawn to the mystic light. Was like a gem or something? I reached out. Closing it in my hands. Okay. A faint glow escaped my fingers and began to spark brightly and spirit me away, unlocking alien memories of 
spiraling towers, endless deserts, and impossible geometry. Okay. The next thing I can remember is the grating sound of stone being lifted. The voices of the Arabs pulling me to safety. And grasped firmly in my hands was the broken pieces of a most peculiar relic. Okay. How am I meant to get out? Do I climb up here? No, because how do I get out now then? I just have to go back. Okay, so I need to... Oh, I'll go and pick this up and bash this. Okay. So I can actually break things, some things. Cool. Okay. You have to be swift when you activate the first one. You hear that? If it stops, you'll have to start over. Isn't all this a bit excessive? You can never be too careful then. Why is that shimmering? What? Oh, I see. Another one. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I want to get that. Come here, box. <laughs> Another rain, rich with lore, is Alst Altstad. Deep within the East Prussian woods, for centuries there have been stories surrounding the hamlet and its neighbour, Castle Brennenburg. The quiet forest clad mountains, dressed with scattered lakes, is a picturesque as can be, albeit the area is haunted by the dark. Ask any local and you will hear proof of the widespread superstition. All travellers should indulge themselves in such conversations since it will certainly serve as exciting entertainment. All of them have their own twists on the tale, but there are some motives that keep reappearing. The Gatherers. This, stor this story reaches all the way back to the time of the 30th Thirty Years' War. It is said that the soldiers who abandoned their duty got lost in the cold, dark woods and were forever damned to roam the grounds. Their bodies wrought by the tainted soul have left them disfigured and empty of essence. Many have cited them over the years and described them as horrid remnants. They move silently through the woods, shying away from any beholder. They are called gatherers as they seem to follow some ambition to steal living creatures. It is their prey which can be heard struggling inside damp burlap sacks dragged behind them which reels their presence. What dark scheme do they follow? A visit undone. Henrich Cornelius Gripa, the well-known erudite, visited Alstead at the start of the 16th century. He resided in the local inn for fortnight for a fortnight as he looked for remnants of the kingdom's past. During his stay, all the prominent members of society paid notice and he is mentioned in many records of the time. One day he went to investigate a burrow in the northwestern glade only to never be seen again. Henrik is known to have passed away in Grenoble some ten years later. He dismissed the notion of ever visiting Alstad which makes you wonder what really happened. Who was this mysterious man who visited the sleepy hamlet in the woods and what happened to him? The Immortal Baron. The Baron of Brennenburg lives in a reclusive life with his family at his castle nearby. Alstead, unlike most Alstead, unlike most of these of noble birth, rumours are he inherited along with the title. Researching the history reveals little before the castle was consumed by fire in the late sixteenth century. It was rebuilt by Alexander, a noble from the Rhinelands, claiming the role as protector of the Prussian state. Alexander helped the reign of the flourish and rem helped the reign of the flourish flourish and remained popular throughout his presumed lifetime. The family has always been secretive when it comes to lineage and heritage, therefore the birth and death of Alexander and his offspring have, has never been fully recorded. This has fed the idea that the Baron is in fact one and the same who came from the West over 300 years ago, lived through the time of occupation and joined the coveted Order of the Black Eagle along with the great leaders of the country. Order of the Black Eagle? Okay. We have not heard that before. Can't find any more of these books. Oh, here we are. Nope. Okay, 
let's just light one of these. I've got plenty because I'm. Okay, so that's out. Let's light this one as well. Okay, so the books actually stand out. So. Okay, I did it. Oh, this does. Oh, this is the door that was locked. Okay. Oh, this kind of looks like the place where I drank this stuff originally, maybe? Uh, oh, a key. Let's just have a look in here before. Here we go. William and his fools have endangered my research long enough with this absent-minded handling of the human vessels. The sheriff is keeping a watchful eye on the forest and is killing my trusty servants. It's just a matter of time until they follow the trail to Brennenburg. I need to lock Willem and his men up to avoid further investigation from the public. The wine cellar will therefore be sealed off until the matter has been handled. Either the king's men leave or they will starve. Whatever comes first, they can rot for all I care. Maybe I'll feed them some wine. It will be in the scent. It would, in a sense, solve both of my problems. Ooh. I, c I don't, still don't know what that sound is. No, okay, pick up the key and things are going to happen, I bet. Yep. I can hear something. What's my sanity like? A slight headache, all is good, okay. Yeah. Can't hear any rustling. Oh, this is now open. Oh, that's scary. What do I need the key for? Why can't I run anymore? Oh, you're joking me. What's that sound? Why don't, can't I run? Oh, there we go. I just want to get out of here. Just get out. There we go. Oh, beautiful. Okay, guys, thanks for coming, and I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.